Hello, everyone. I'm Ayana, a VTuber. Today, I will explain how to use the source monitor. Let's begin. Let's start. By dragging the video file in the project panel in this way and releasing it in the source panel, you can display it on the source monitor. You can close the video displayed on the source monitor by clicking on the three lines next to the source tab and selecting close. You can also double click a video file in the project panel to display it in the source monitor. You can drag the video displayed on the source monitor and drop it on the timeline to place it on the timeline. By clicking the in and out marks on the source panel and setting in and out beforehand, you can arrange the trimmed video on the source monitor in the timeline by dragging and dropping. You can place only the video on the timeline by dragging the drag video only button in the source panel and dropping it on the timeline. Similarly, you can place only audio in the timeline by dragging the drag audio only button in the source panel and dropping it on the timeline. By clicking the insert button on the source panel, you can insert the video displayed on the source monitor into the playhead 1 on the timeline. The position of the track to be inserted is the position of the track of V1 and A1 where the current source patch of 2 is turned on. When inserting with insert, as you can see from the duration of 3 in the lower right of the program panel, you can see that the time of the whole video has increased by the amount inserted. Similarly, you can overwrite the video displayed on the source monitor and insert it at the position of the playhead on the timeline by clicking the overwrite button on the source panel. In the case of overwriting, you can see that the duration of the entire video has not changed as you can see from the duration at the bottom right of the program panel. By dragging and moving the position of the source patch in this way, you can change the position of the track that is inserted when you press the insert button. Similarly, when the overwrite button on the source panel is pressed, the video is inserted at the track position of the patch of the source moved in this way. You can add your favorite buttons by clicking the button editor at the bottom right of the source panel. You can add a button by dragging any button you like, dropping it in the blue frame and clicking the OK button. You can reset the layout to its original state by clicking the button editor at the bottom right of the source panel, clicking Reset Layout and clicking the OK button. If you change the source patch as shown in 1 and click the insert button, the bottom BGM track will also be synchronized, so there will be space in the BGM track as well as in number 3. If you want to insert only the video and audio while keeping the music such as BGM, turn off Switch Sync Lock of the BGM track and click the insert button as in 4 to insert the video and audio without changing the BGM track. How is everyone doing? Did you understand today's lecture? If you found today's lecture useful, please subscribe. If you have any requests, please let us know in the comments below. See you again for the next lecture. See you soon. Bye-bye.